G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to Conan Exiles in the brand new 3.0 update in Age of Sorcery. I am back and I have no shame in telling you that I am now just flat out addicted to Conan. I stopped recording the last episode and immediately wanted to carry on and continue on what I was up to because now I kind of have some sort of path to follow. I'm still figuring everything out, which is a bit of a challenge, but now I know that the spiders out there do give me the gospel for the silk for the all important purple banners. The most important item in the game is almost within our reach, but also there's that bandit camp around the corner that has some pretty important thralls in there. So if I get my whacking stick together and a wheel of pain, I can finally have some friends. I mean, I'm very lonely. I have no friends and they'll give me my friend by choice. So they will learn of my friendly ways by force. So this is all the stuff that I'm going to need. I need a lesser wheel of pain, a wheel that strengthens the body but breaks the mind, so that's where you can tame them, a truncheon for knocking out the Muppets, and fiber bindings to drag them back home again. Also, a thrill pot to feed them that also seems relatively important. So I need to get all of that cracking along relatively soon, but I also want to make myself a, um, high, how do I say this wrong, high, uh, high Whatever, I need to make one of those bows because I want to upgrade my little primitive thing I've got going for me at the moment. I need branches and leather, but to make the leather, I'm going to need a tannery. I need leather for other things as well. I want to upgrade my armor too, so I need stone, wood, and bark. All right, well, there's plenty of gubbins around the valley here for me to go and harvest, so let's go and rinse the valley. Take everything of note and everything we can. I still haven't figured out, by the way, how to turn off the auto attack thing. It only happens when I'm holding shift and then attack. I've looked through the settings to try and find how I might be able to turn it off and I've gone Googling as well to no avail. Ooh, some resin. I knew I got bark from swinging at a tree with a pickaxe. Not resin, but okay, I'll take everything you want to give me. That should be most of what I need. So yeah, no idea how to turn anything off yet. We're just going to have to deal with it and live with it as best we can. You, I need to now make myself the, this one, tannery. Now, <laughs> tanneries of old, real life tanneries, do need water from the river to function properly. It's why Florence was such a good like leather uh, making place because it had the river there to run all its tanneries. So put you right next to the water flow. Hope that will make it even better for me. I have no idea if uh, historical accuracy is a thing or not, but we're going to go with it anyway. All of my hides and leathers and whatnot are all hanging out in my, um, my armorer's bench. I'll take all of you back if I can. Don't think I can turn spider hide, even though it's not really hide at all, spider shell into leather. Right, you, you need bark. Okay, bark hide equals leather. Okay, that's fine. Put all of you into there then. All the reptile hide as well. Chuck in a bit of bark and get your... What? That's a fucking lot of leather. And you're giving me tar as well. Now tar... Oh, here we go. We're starting to put some jigsaw puzzle pieces together. Tar went into you. Where was it? Was it in this one actually? It was in you. Goes into you. Tar and brimstone. And I brought that back with me. Oh, now we're kicking snags. Now we're kicking snags. It's goddamn hot dog season. Putting everything together. People were telling me in the comments as well that apparently my... Ooh, you've caught an exotic fish. All right, how you bloody going, Jigglypuff? Apparently my um fish trap over here potentially might break down over time because it's not on a foundation, which is a sacrifice I'm willing to make because, I don't know, it'll look weird if that was sitting on a foundation in the river. So that's fine like that. I will eventually, I mean, I do eventually want to turn the banks of the river into like foundations, kind of like line the banks of it to put all my crafting stations and whatnot onto. Plus, I think it'll look pretty bloody cool. But in the meantime, though, how's my tanner going? You are cracking my nice. You've already made a fuckload of leather. Crafting speed's doing their job. Nice. You, I need to make one of you, please. Thick, mm, half the thick leather, actually. We'll go like that. Yep, that'll do. You, you have everything. Oh, it's regular leather, not thick leather. All right, hold on. I'll thick it up a little bit. I feel like I could do that with everything. I took out my hide, and it's still just turning crocodiles into handbags. So I guess I thought that was going to give me thick leather, but I guess not then. All right, listen. That's probably enough for now. I'll take you, though. You guys can all just hang out in there for a little bit. I'll take the leather as well, because why not? What do I do with the brimstone? And can I quickly whip up a cheeky deeky bit of steel fire? You, that one, you're going to need some fuel for it. I'm pretty sure you are. Nice. You in and you in. That one. Craft all. Okay, craft 62. Just leave that going. 
Right, well I had some pretty bold ambitions of heading out today with some good progress started. Other than building my tannery, that hasn't really gone to plan. So to make the medium stuff, or I can just click on that to make it, which is nice, the medium padding. All the medium stuff requires iron and leather, which is a little bit of work, but not particularly agreed. We've got iron on the other side of the river I can quickly go and whip up. So, all right, I will do that. Do I have any spare iron anywhere? I've got you and none in you. I've already smelted all that I had before. That's a bit disappointing. We've got 13 of the sausages. All right, well, let's go and quickly harvest up then. Look at that. There's nodes all over the joint. Barely even breaking a sweat. There is definitely a little part of me deep down inside that wonders if maybe I built my base in the wrong area. Like, I'm a... I'm a long way up this river from where kind of like the starting area is and all the things around me seem to be pretty serious business. Those spiders just down the river back towards the starting area, which kind of in my head denotes that it's probably supposed to be easier. Those spiders do not fuck about. They, they messed me up six ways from Sunday, which is not particularly crash hot. So I might be in a bit of a dicey area. We're going to make it work as best we can. You can go into there, please. Got everything cooking along nicely. Got some shaped wood as well. What do I need you for? I need you for the bow, didn't I? No, I didn't even. I just made you out of habit. <laughs> All right, fine. Fair enough then. Well, how do I get thick leather then? What's thicker than crocodile ass? Got 102 iron bars, so I can just go through like this, can't I? I can skip most of this stuff. Don't know why you're in the middle of all the medium things. It's going to get me nice confused, but double click you. Oh, wait, I'm going to just go craft and it will craft that for me. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. That's way more lovely. I craft all of you. Medium harness as well. That's all of those ones. And the medium tacit as well. Make sure all of my bits and bobs and dangly bits are nice and protected like a comfortable little hand of a sheath. Right, that was nice and quick. Give me you, give me you, give me you, give me you. And we are done, are we? One, two, three, four. Wait, why didn't you make the tacit? That was the last bit. Did you want to just cut? I, or did I immediately put it on? No, I didn't. Well, where, wait, what? where the shit did it go? Well, I've ended up with a medium padding in there, so I guess I just didn't make it. So we'll make it this time around. Craft you. And done and dusted. Nice. Whack it all onto me, chinny, chin, chin. There goes everything. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> it's not quite armor. And there's a lot of me that's still very exposed to pointy sharp bits and spider fangs and the like. But you know what? Sure. As long as you look stylish, it's all okay. That does actually remind me, though. That brings up the, my, my favorite bit of Conan that I miss in every other survival game I play. Is that in Conan, you can make... Where are you? Battle standards? No, not that one. You can make armor stands and weapon stands and things like that. So you can like mount up your... Oh, that's a... I want one of those. You can mount up your unused gear and it all looks nice and pretty. So they'll go like armor, maybe. You in here somewhere, Tinkerer? I know you exist. Or were you a mod? God, it's been way too long since I played the game. It might have been a mod. If it is, I know what I'm downloading tonight. Oh, no, I had it wrong. It's, just, it's only weapon display racks, not armor racks. Okay, well, that's right. I'm going to research you anyway because I'm absolutely going to use you before too long. Kind of makes me think, though, was there like a better... A better truncheon? Iron truncheon at the next level wheel of pain. I need to be... What, level 30? I'm level 27, so I can't quite get that just yet. I can make a torturous work table. Jeez, that's pretty brutal. However, Wheel of Pain is different to that Wheel of Pain? Well, that's the lesser, I suppose. Okay, so maybe if I get another three levels, I'll research you before I worry too much about it. The stars are out, and it's all looking nice and shimmery. I've got my sickle, which means I have a date with a couple of spider boys out here. They may have eight legs and eight eyes, but they'll never see me coming. So my plan of action is, it's not great, but hear me out. So I went and harvested, I stabbed a couple of spiders at them with my sickle, and, you know, sickle went in, guts come out like he's in the bloody Simpsons fish farm. But in doing so, I got a little bit of gossamer. But if I go down to those green spiders, the ones who are gossing their gossamer, is that where I get gossing from? If I just accidentally learned the etymology of one of the words I say all the time, but they're gossing their gossamer at me all the time, so they must have more inside them, right? That stands to reason. That makes sense. I hear one of those guys down there. Those are the spitty boys. If I can kill one of you and harvest you up, surely you have more spider web than your non-spitty friends. It makes sense in my head, so it's worth a crack. Oi, dickhead. Look at that. Come to the torch. Come to the fire. There you go. There you go. See what I mean? I just want 
I just want that. Just give me that. Here we go. Here we go. Lock on to him. Bit of a duck and dive and dodge and dive and duck. And stab and continue stabbing. And it's bloody tough, but I'm going to make it work. As long as I can just get you by yourself, not too concerned. It's the ones down in the river with the red back that I'm more worried about. Get my combo going. Nope. One too many. That's it. Calm down. Calm down. Get your stamina back up, please. There you go. There you go. Can't get knackered having a fight in the outback. That's how you bloody die. Done. Now. Number seven, get my sickle. 22 and 22. Oh, we've already got 66. And how much is that going to give me? 33. How much did it take me to make a fucking purple banner again? I don't remember. I think it was like 36. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's a lot of gods. What a good plan this was. So I have been taking hints. Oh, that, calm down there, buddy. You can't just vomit all over me. It's meant to melt my shield. It's made out of metal, so unlucky. Um, I haven't read in the comments for like tips and tricks and stuff like that for people who know much better than I do. And apparently the golden combo is one power attack to three regular attacks, but I quite like having the third attack being a power attack because then does cripple my opponent or just flat out murders them like that. Another one of you. Slice and dice here like you're a bloody weed in a cornfield. 66. That's another whole lot of you. Look at that. I took all my R with me. That was bloody so I should put it in a box, but that's a whole lot of silk. Oh, when we go home, we're going to have some purple drapes in no time. I've murdered as many creepy crawlies as I can and come away with a fair lot of gozzies. So I'll just craft another 100 silkies. In you go. But I still need some levels up before I can craft the better wheel of pain. So these poor sods are about to be my uh, latest sacrifice to the gods of whatever realm I'm in. No, stop that. Stop that with your bloody dark, your dark daggers. I'm going to say your blunt daggers. Oh, I cut that muppet in half. Oh, God. Bud, I would I would take your giant sledgehammer and probably call it a day. You're currently waist deep in two of your friends. And there's four quarters of each. Dice up like a goddamn pizza. All right, listen. That's, if you want to really push the issue, I'm sure we can. Not your best move, though. Good gravy. I mean, I've got some food on me. I've got a river here full of delicious water. So I might as well go exploring. I know I had things to do today, and I've already done one step along that path, so now I just need the levels up. I might just head... Oh, actually, I'll head down here. There was that bandit camp down here, and I'm not averse to a cheeky bit of murder. Might head down there, <laughs> turn the entire camp into a knee-deep puddle of blood, and get my levels up that way. I've got, what, half of a level left to go from 29, then one more level to 30, then I can unlock the next level, get my better truncheon, so I can bonk noggins just a little bit better. I could have sworn it was down here somewhere. I don't want to go to the, like, the camp up near the temple up there where that named thrall was, because I don't want to get up there and accidentally have to murder Maeve. I want to bring her home with me, if that's at all possible. <laughs> oh, sorry, ankles, but I'm sure you'll be fine. There we go. There's the sticks that signify where all the mups are hanging out. And now I've got my bow and my super awesome sniper ability. Can I can I ruin everybody's day from up on high? You're just cruising around. Old mate's getting fucked up. Oh, that's the wrong button. Getting fucked up by a couple of crocodiles down there. Although by the looks of things, he's doing a bloody good job. Look at him dancing around. Dancing around in the innards of a croc. Pretty brave there, Sunny Jim, but it's not going to last you very long. Stop right there. Thank you very much. Oh, I need someone with a Spice Girls touch. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, he changed direction. Thank God he's deaf. The Crocs ate his ears off because I would have heard all of this. Surely. Damn it. I just want to clatter you, up. There. Ah! Oh, God. He's got... <gasps> He's got a gold health bar though. No, I was trying to avoid named thralls. Now he's going to get real crank with me and come up and say g'day on the top of my boulder up here. Who are you? Who are you? I wonder you fucked those crocodiles up. Who? What is your name? Introduce yourself, Benaru. He's a... Okay, bye, Benaru. The hell is a scout right though? Never heard of that in my life. Guess we'll learn something later on. You though. Cheeky headshot. Didn't die. Didn't move either though. Oh, unlucky. No, no. I'm the only one with a bow and arrow around here. You need to stop. Oh, for goodness sake. I was doing such a good job of staying out of this kind of faff. Oh, I like your mace, though. But I don't know what a scout right actually is. So I think I might need to see to kill you and deal with the consequences later on. Oh, ow, 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 stop. I can get a stagger if I time my, uh, my block correctly. But I just need to quickly cut you in half, and then you're almost dead, too. You're relatively weak, so... 
Catch later, Scout, right? I'll figure out what you did later on, but for now, you're just a pile of goo. There's only one Muppet left just trundling about in the reeds over here, so I'll make sure it works him if I can. Oh! <laughs> You can't jump attack. I don't know why I tried or even why I thought it was a possibility. Cripple you, so you're a bit slower for me. Come on, take a swing. Block you, and then stab you. Ooh, I was going to say right in the face, but you stabbed me right back again. That's not how this is supposed to go. You can give me those arrows, though. Thank you very much. All right, and that's the that's the end of the camp. Everybody's dead. Bone breakers bend. Well, bones are safe now. That got me to level 29, and I've got a long way to go before level 30. Maybe there's a better way to get XP than just flat out killing? I'm not sure. I mean, it kind of makes sense, though. There's the other bandit camp up there. Maybe even building some things back at home, or... Oh, doing my progression, doing my journey. So I can't find out the gods. Yeah, I've done all of these ones. Is there any, like, sneaky-deaky ones I can do nice and quickly that's going to tell me what's going on? Nah, just a bunch of unknown stuff. But I want to get the XP out of it. Sleep in the bed, put an enemy in a wheel of pain. I haven't done that yet. I don't even have a bloody wheel of pain yet. And venerate the gods. Oh, no, wait. I remember. I remember you really quickly. Ah, uh, give me that one, please. In here somewhere. Building pieces. No alchemy. Religion. There. No, I don't want to build it right now. You need stone, wood, and twine. I can make myself a shrine and venerate the gods that way. Thank you, everyone, in the comments who told me how to do that. There's little statues up here, though. Is this something special? Is this something fun? Like a little gateway to it? Can I, can I dance too? Wait, wait. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Look, I'll dance. I'll dance. There we go. Look, I have friends. Oh. No! Don't disappear like it's funny, but yes, no, you're still here. Good, I thought you would. No! My friends have left me on the D floor all alone! Why can't I just make friends in this bloody game? Oh, man. All right, fine. I'll stop dancing then because I stopped. Fuck it. Fuck it. I stopped and you guys come back. I like talk to you or something. Can I like put something in your salad bowls over here? You don't win friends with salad, but I'm willing to give it a try. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Just like poor salt in me already deep emotional wounds. God damn it, game. Where were you? There you were. Large banner. Need branches and twine. Hold your horses then. I know there's more pressing things to be doing, but this is definitely important. Uh, you and branches. Chuck into this one. Uh, branches, twine. There you go. Now, purple banner. You. All five. All five. Not even going to question it, but I do want to see what you look like before I get too carried away with myself. Grab that. Chuck you then. You're nice and big. Oh my god, you're massive! About time I have something big in this camp. We can finally appease some people. Fuck yeah. Let me build. No, let me build something more fun. I need to have something to hang my banner off. Chuck in a couple of ceiling pieces up the top. No, make sure. Yeah, all the. Rafters, I suppose. What are the horizontal bits called? Probably rafters. I don't know. Make sure all the rafters are facing the right way. And then you. Can I not? Can I not stick? Why? 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 Why can't I stick? Hang on. Can I have to put like a? Found, no, that's a foundation, Josh. What about like just a regular fence set up the top? Like you and like you. I did that one wrong, didn't I? So it's like a little bit of a gunner, I suppose. Get rid of that one. I love the new building system so much. Out of face like that. And then you can stick on. What do you mean? Stick on up there. You're a banner. You're supposed to flop down a wave all about like a super enthusiastic inflatable waving arm man. Why can't I put you there? All right. Well, in that case, I've taken all my ceilings back again. If they're going to be useful to me, I'm not going to use you at all. We could go and put my banners back in their bench over here so I can figure it out later on. Because what I need to do is build myself that um that temple thing, wasn't it? Crafting stations, religion, you. I need 20 twine for that, which should actually just be in here. Excuse me, that because it's going to take the one back again. Going to whip you up nice and quickly. Although you probably need to be on something, don't you? This is pretty ambitious of me, but I was really trying to get it to like just slot in next to my house over here on the foundations. But yeah, nah, not gonna happen. Uh, that's all gravy. What about if I just like chuck it down here then? <laughs> like, it's not really much for the moment. I, I know I can move things later on. Apparently there's like an option. But if I go like this, hold E on you. Yeah, you can just like move place rather than picking him up and moving him again. So I'll keep it in mind for later. But for now, I guess just like just anywhere he will do. Oh, you're gonna look so gross though. You're gonna look so gross in my lovely little town. We're gonna see to venerate the gods real quick. 
Yuck. Yuck. I've got a whole valley to move into and I built it there. Can I, like, do something with you then? There we go. Venerate the gods. Job done. I'm a bee stick away from level 30, though. Ambrosia? Lingering essence? An ank? Or an unk? I'm not sure you say that properly. Offering to Mitra. So, like... Ooh, a burn offering. Right, okay. So, if I... Jesus. If I chuck some meat into you, I can make sacrifices? Although this seems like pretty significant stuff. Not really something I have just hanging around in my campfire. Well, as fun as that is to have there, I'm going to break down and get all my resources back. I heard the sizzle of an alligator out there. Oh, I can't see. Hold on. There we go. Here, come over into the lights. I'm going to still use my shield. So I'm slithering about in the darkness out there. Like you believe in a thing called love. Yeah, you're cooked. You're cooked. And in fact... Give me you, and then you really will be cooked. Get your sizzling on the campfire. I suppose, actually. I mean, look, I've got the resources on me at the moment, so I might even... Let's put you away. Let's go move with my new my new found ability. Just, like, chuck you over there for the tick, and then whack down some more foundations out this way. Look, just because we're using the river water doesn't mean we have to, like, actually put it on the sand. Give ourselves a nice embankment out of our nations. The river still runs, which is all nice and good. And I can move you back again. You move and just whack you over here. What about... Uh, you know, let's go like this. Let's go like this. So at least when you're working away on someone's hide, you got a nice view. I've continued my little foundation work and moved my campfire just a little bit. Although it's a little bit on the piss. So let's grab you again and see if I can place it down a little bit better. Like about... Ooh, yeah, no, almost. Mm, there, that looks about right to me. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't like the look of the, like, the whole sandstone foundation all the way along here. Hopefully I can turn it into something a bit more smoother. I'd like the look of the sand, but apparently I had to change it. Okay, well, I guess now, I find I got my level up, so knowledge, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go pain. Just search for pain. <laughs> I don't need to search very far, because I am a millennial. <laughs> Grab that one that unlocks my rawhide bindings, my iron truncheon, torches, work table, and my wheel of pain. Need to make all four of those, then go and find my friend down the river. I need 50 shaped wood for it, so there's 50 out of that nice and quick. Nice. Uh, what else did I need for it? Crafting stations, companions, you. No, no, not that one. Oh, that was just for the... No, that was for the uh, torture work table. Okay, I need that. I should have to make the truncheon, so I'll get that going. Get myself a truncheon like it's the principal of Matilda's school. Uh, steel bars, that's fine. But you need another 75 shaped wood, iron reinforcements, and bricks. Mm, okay, that's a pretty considerable undertaking, but I'm not going to make it work. I should make bricks in you. Is that just like stone? Is it? It is just stone. Okay, now, so go and get some more and get your whacking away. It's going to take a little bit of work, though. Because my other quest at the moment is to sleep in a bed, I'm going to chuck down a bed just like that. Didn't even need to sleep in it, but it just gave me the experience anyway. Die an item. Die an item? How do I... More. Die. Interesting interesting uh knowledge should have done this when i first started knowledge purple what die maker come on surely <gasps> oh <laughs> yes buy that one i would like some purple die please if i can go around dying my kit oh man i'll never murder anything again unless i need to <laughs> I mean, you get purple dye out of, like, milk and snails, so maybe to go find, like, a giant snail somewhere and milk it for its guts and dye things purple that way. And if I do, so be it. Sacrifices have to be made. Oh, I'm excited about that now. If I just leave these fish in here, do you never go... Oh, you do expire, though. Okay, so there is an expiry, even though they're still in the water. So what do I do with you, then? Do I just cook you up? I guess? Like, what's the difference between the different kinds of fishes, though? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to leave them there for a moment. Don't keep them in the water and keep them fresh. I don't know why they're expiring. Maybe they're just dying of old age over time. Call it a putrid flesh in there, though. Ooh, you need some... Hang on. I'm going to get some of my fuel out of you and cook up a couple of steaky boys. You give me, like... There we go. Give me, like, half of you. I like that, like, right-click option. It's much easier. Chuck you in and chuck you in. Get your sizzling away. Nice. All right. Look at me go. Look at my crafting stations all working away for me. 
Oh, you are kidding me. I didn't even realize that. The bloody... It uses steel, not iron. Uh, okay. Well, I have a fair whack of iron. I'll put you into there. But I did buy myself a steel fire, didn't I? Grab you. How do I make steel then? Do I just put you into there? Do I need to get like iron as well? Is it like the iron ore and the steel fire makes... I, I don't know. I don't know. I might have to Google that because I don't have the foggiest of a sausage. Well, here we go. No, dismantle into steel bars. I do need to make a bunch of iron reinforcement though for the wheel of pain. Uh, hmm. Okay, how do I... How do I make you? Tell me how I make. I say this with no shame, but I did look it up because I tried to learn it like the proper way, going through like the knowledge tree and searching for steel, but there's nothing that really tells me what to do in here. It just tells me that I can dismantle the steel bars, but nothing really else. So I did look it up and apparently iron bar and steel fire goes into you and you make me steel bars. Okay, nice. I don't want to, mm, I don't want to put all of you in there at once though. So just like that, make me some steel, leave me some iron bars. Nice. I do need to make... Oh, shit. What was it? What was it? In you, that one. I need to go that one there. So I need 200 iron reinforcements. That's a fair... That's a fair whack. You, iron reinforcements. That one there. Put you all in, please. Holy shit. I need some more iron. Good God. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Let's go with the hatchet instead. Are you going to work? Kind of. Not great, but at least there's something. Because I've mined almost every iron node in the Sodden Valley. Well, there's a couple over there that apparently I missed on the way through. I've got 1,400 iron on me. Pretty significant. Oi, can I slap a saddle onto the back of you and give me a little dink back home? Well, hold on to your antlers and yeehaw. Although, I'm, I warn you, I weigh about 18 tons, so I might snap your spine on the way through. Oh, bud, not now. Not now. I'm way too over income to fight you right now. Please leave me alone. I just want peace. It's going to take a while to smelt all this up, but you can have all of that. There you go. Get to going again. That's... So I needed 200 iron reinforcements, and they're two a pop, and I make... It's two iron stone per iron bar, so I, I can only... I can't do the math on that one. I, I, I get like a quarter of a return out of that. But at least I have the steel bars. So I'll take you guys. I'll take you guys. Please. Actually, I'll take my steel fire back out of you so I don't inadvertently turn what iron I do make into steel. Take all of that and get you working away over here. Uh, iron reinforcement. Yep. Put you in. Craft another 12. We'll get there. We'll get there. In fact, that is actually going to be... I think exactly a hundred. No, I need a two hundred. Damn it. In the meantime, though, I have what I need to make the torturer's workbench. So I'm actually... Yeah, I'll put you just in line with the carpenter's workbench just here. At some point, I'll put up some walls. That's a terrible positioning. I'll put up some walls to make this all make a bit more sense. But in the meantime, just, just don't move around so bloody much. God, I hate that, like, it's based on where the camera movement is. You can go there. Nice. So you... Iron truncheon, iron bar, leather, and branches, and you just need leather. That's nice and easy. Making the bench was way harder than making the truncheon. Done nice and quick. Iron truncheon, take you. Raw bite. Um, do I need, like, more of you, actually? I might bring a couple just in case. I don't know if you, like, if you wear out or if they slip out or what goes on, but having a couple extras doesn't seem like a particularly bad shout. Nice. That's there. I need you, though. Chuck you into this real fast and repair you. Repair my sword as well. No, I won't because I have no iron bars anymore. God, I've spread all my resources out so thin. We're so close. I can almost taste it. The last one. Give me the iron reinforcements. Boom. Thank you. So now I have everything that I need to make myself the... Oh, geez, you are a big wheel of pain. Wheel of pain, do you fit over here? Pretty please? Oh, you'd be so close. You'd be so close. Why not? Is it just because of the ground? We need to move my terrain. Okay, hang on. I might have to move you down the river just a little bit. Down to here. I'll put you next to my, my campfire. Whack you this. It's still next to the flow of the current. How's that? Is that better? Oh, oh, oh. It's not, it's not great, but it's going to work. Okay. You're a little bigger than I was anticipating. It's bigger than my bloody house is, but okay, I guess this is just it now. Nice. Okay, I have my truncheon. I've got my sword. I've got my shield. Let's go and find a friend.
So there were four spokes on that wheel of pain. Like if I go here, hang on a second, knowledge, I go to this one and I go pain again. See, look, so that lesser wheel of pain has one little spindle on it, but this one has four spindles on it. Does that mean I can I can make four friends at once? Like I've gone to a club and I'm buying bloody jelly shots for everyone? I mean, okay. Okay, it's worth it. I mean, I've only got bindings for one anyway. So maybe if I find a named thrall and maybe some others that I might like, I'll knock as many as I can out and make the trip back with the bindings to drag them back home again. I mean, I have two hands. Can I double slide? Can I double drag some Muppets? I don't know. I don't know. I'm heading in blind. Let's see how it goes. Mavo, I promised I'd come back for you and I bleed and have two. Oh, I'll get you after you're done with the spiders, though. I'm going to try and help him out where I can because I, I need the I need the humans. I don't need the spiders. I thought Olme got murdered then for a second. No, it's fine. See, look. See, look. I'm helping. You're just a regular fighter, though. Who are you? Mm, you're a black... Oh. Calm your fire. Okay, you need to die. Go away. I can kill the fighter. That's fine. No, not the blacksmith. I, I might need him. If Mavo's... On, oh, shit. If Mavo's not around anymore, I might need the blacksmith. Ow! Archer, no, please. Oh, no. My blacksmith died. The bloody spider's got to him. I had to run away. Ooh, uh, right ahead. No, I'll take that one very much. And some purified water. Nice. I'll take all of that. Cheers, knackers. My bloody... My torch has died, though. Can I make a new one, please? Torch needs wood and fiber. But there was some fiber on you, wasn't there? Where'd you... I can't see your bloody body anymore, though. Are you, are you still here? Oh, there you are there. God, it's so bloody dark. All right, I need to make a torch. Can't believe he died, though. It's really annoying. I want him alive. Well, we can't get too hung up on that. Old mate, you, what have you got for me? An antelope head trophy. Thank you. Black hand vest, some more iron bars, a grease orb, and rhino hide. I mean, rhinos are pretty bloody thick with, like, 18 Cs. Is that how I get thick leather? By, like, uh, tanning rhino hide instead? That seems like it makes sense to me. It's almost bright enough for me not to have to use my torch. Not quite, though. You're just a regular fighter, so you can die as well. I'm only looking for things that are useful. I can fight plenty good already. Thanks for the offer, though. He did have some deep red dye in him, though. All right, I'll take all of that. Cheers, big ears. I mean, if you guys want to give me some purple dye, I might consider letting you live. But in the meantime, I guess I just make my way through the camp and murder everyone I see. It's going to take a little while. Who are you? You're a sorcerer. Nah, nah, not happening. I mean, you're probably important for later, but not right now. I just need friends. Got some spells on him too, actually. Can I take you guys? Can I use them? Use. I learned the cult master armor. Okay, lovely. I can't use you though. Couple page containing a failed spell. All right, well, you weren't a very good sorcerer then, were you? Leather satchel, there's some gummies in you. Can I, what do I do with you then? Use. Ooh, leather pouch. A region pouch dropped by a sorcerer. I guess it is the age of sorcery update, and the first time I found a sorcerer, I stabbed him in the face, but, you know, happens to the best of us. Hand-drawn map of a dead sorcerer. Use that. Is this a treasure map? So, river. That's not far away from where I live, actually, so that's probably, like, there? Or the, the river goes way further. Maybe it's over here then. Maybe it's in that bit there. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on to you though. I like quests. That sounds fun. Was there anyone else here? This is this mate. Oh, are you? No, you are a fighter. I thought for a second you might have just been a torso, but no, you're fine. So there was no one. I mean, there was a blacksmith. He got murdered. I'm not very happy about that one. I'll go and thank the spider for that with my sword later on. And that's it. There's no one else here. There's no friends. Um, okay, well, I'll take your cutlery and your culinary. I guess I'll come back later when you've all respawned, because this is not going according to plan. Who are you? Are you just an archer? You are just an archer. The worst kind. Never mind. You can die too. Or you and all your friends can die. I'm just going to leave for a bit. going to head back home and drop all these gubbins off, because I'm pretty way down with garbage right now. I'll come back, and hopefully they're back again. This might take longer than I really anticipated. While I'm here, it does actually give me a chance to test you, Rhino Hide Ghost. He's also got some feline pelt as well. Just put in all the skins of all the animals. Thick leather. So that is how that works. Okay. 
Nice. I've now forgot what I needed the thick leather for, but at least I have some for when I need it later on. Okie dokie day. Uh, the rest of the stuff can all go in the box over here. Get myself lightened up and ready to crack on. Why don't we go chuck my head trophy inside my house too? I can't quite mount it high enough, which is a bit of a shame. I'm going to put this deer head right over the top of my bed. <laughs> it's a little weird, but okay. I'm not bringing anyone back home, so it doesn't really matter. I accidentally turned off my torch. Turn it back on again. Okay, I'm now lightened up. I've only got like the bare necessities on me. Didn't really put you away though. Can you go into there, please? Don't need that. Free up some space for other things. You guys go in too. Okay. I'm good to rock and roll. You can stay behind as well. Let's go back and see if people have come back to be my friend again. If not, there's also other bandit camp just further down the river. Oh, they're back again. Okay, this time around, I need to protect it from the spiders. I need to not kill the sorcerer if there is another one over here. I need to bring someone home with me. These spiders are already dead. Oh, no, 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 no. Come over here. Oh, yeah, get wrecked. If it's still just like one on one, the human should still stand a chance. Look at me helping, though. All right, who are you? A fighter and a cook. I want a cook. All right, you, you all need to die except my cookie friend. Come on, come this way. Walk this way. Walk this way. Come on, we'll have our own little barbecue and you're invited. I need to somehow separate her from her fighter friend. Bonk. <laughs> Didn't do an awful lot of bonkage. That little bar popped up, which I assume is like a torpedo, like it's in arc. Uh, okay, I just need to focus on killing her friend then. No, no, you stay away. Those daggers are bleeding and scary. Little, like, red swing of death. Move. Yep, dodge, dodge, and stab you in the chin. I just need you to die and your friend to live. Don't ask why. I've done a pretty good job. My stamina's kind of knackered. The cook's still alive, though. Yep, dodge out of you. A lot of dodging means a lot of uh, my stamina gets drained very quickly. Oh, that was a good dodge, though. Very close. Oh, come on. I just want to took you one more time. Done. Nice. Now, it's just you and me and my truncheon. So, let's lock on. I can block all your attacks, but you're attacking very quickly. Bonk. <laughs> if in doubt, bonk it out. And it's not because of what's jiggling about over here either. It is taking a fair bit of time to get this done, but we're doing a little bit of progress, like a third down already. You can power attack with it and chain, like, chain combos together. So, just do that. Roll the weight. It's now down to half. I'm gonna bring it home, me sweetheart. I promise you, it's gonna be lovely. One more combo, which you should be done. Oh, no, don't stab me for it, though. I'm in a combo against you, not against me. There we go. She's having a little snooze. <laughs> yes, she's covered in blood, but don't ask too many questions about that. Okay, you're unconscious. Drag. Come on. <laughs> this. <laughs> This is not quite the most dignified thing I've ever done with my life, but all right, this is what we're doing. Just <laughs> mind the big rock, sweetheart. Oh my God. She's still flopping along back there. Yep. <laughs> mind the gutter. All right, we're almost there. Here you go. How do I E for more options? Remove, interact. There we go. Put an enemy in the wheel of pain. Lovely. She might cook level two. I mean, do I need to like feed you or something? You're not crafting at the moment. Do you, do, 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 do you want some food? Not all my food. I still need some. I'm going to feed you nice juicy steak. I mean, listen, I need you to like plump up a little bit. This is the house of thickness. Uh, what do you take? Burn time fuel. What fuel do you need? Is it just food? Start. It is just food. Look at you. Oh. <laughs> I mean, all right. I don't think you're going to be very friendly towards me after this, but this wasn't really my choice. Um, this croc has a skull and glowy eyes. The skull is the thing that's making me worry the most about this. People warned me that glowy eyes were bad, and I'm starting to believe them. You're also way bigger than the other crocs. Um... Uh, all right, as long as I don't eat my friend over there, because I only just brought her back, and I like... Oh, I can do a bit of damage to you. I might have to actually pay attention and kill you properly. Oh, but you hurt so much. Oh, my goodness gracious, golly gosh, you hurt so fucking much. This is a problem. Listen, I'm not above being a coward. I'm not above being a coward. I have digits and opposable thumbs, which means I can climb things. You, I'm hopefully, uh, hoping you cannot go like that. Get you locked on somewhere. This is going to take a lot of doing. A lot of doing. Get my sniper shot going. Yeah, there you go. Turn you into a bloody alligator porcupine. It's doing a fair bit of damage too. I just need to get my health back though. 
eat a couple of you, get myself happy again. This is, yeah, I'm not happy about this. That's what I need the thick leather for, for my bow. I'm not sure how many arrows, I, damn it, how many arrows I actually have left, but I'm running out of them relatively quickly. Maybe, maybe I just need to get bold with it. Like, my health is kind of back, so I think we're okay. I guess we just get brave. Just get brave and figure it out. It's already down to half health, so we'll figure it out the best we can. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I also can't cripple like I can with the regular crocs, but at least it's the same attack patterns. So I should be able to figure it out and get around him. Just wait for him. Yeah, there you go. When he cocks his tail like that, that's when he's about to attack. So at least I have a bit of warning for it. I can, oh, I can cripple you, but I dodged him went the wrong way. All right, he's almost dead. He's almost dead, Josh. Just don't panic and you'll be fine. Stab, stab, an extra good stab. Ow, damn it. He stabs me a little bit with his big old gnashes. Stab in the face. Kill in the face. Gain the level. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? Yeah, how's that taste? That's why I'm wearing a skirt for easy teabag access, you demon bitch. Oh, I'm absolutely going to skin you. Can I have your head, please? Because you were a demon and I would like to mount you on my wall. No, didn't even, didn't even bother giving me your noggin. All right, put you into there. Let's actually get you cooking away. All that shredded roast can come with me and can go and feed uh, my new friends. Got to put on a feast for them. But I'll keep the steak, but you can have this. In you go, in you go. That's looking lovely. That's looking really good. Keep on pushing. Do I go back and find some more? Ooh, no, I think we're good here. Let's put my banners up. That's probably more important. I've expanded my little workstation a little bit just to see how it goes. So I need what, like a big proper wall, I suppose, to put my banner onto. Which I don't really want to do. But if I can go like that, maybe, that might work. And then... So you put like a big fuck off wall like this then. Like that, yeah? Which looks a little silly, but it just is what it is for now. I'm gonna put in you, I think in the right way. I remember having to build like a thousand of these bloody angular shapes and hoping you remembered which one was the right one. Now you can just flip between them. That's the outer face, that means that one needs to flip around like that. Like that, so if that's them, can I then go grab my banners out of here? Grab you. Thank you very much. I'll put you down to this one. I'm over encumbered. Probably should have seen that one coming. I'm way down with all the berries in the world. So much shit on me. All right, let's have a squeeze. How do you look? You're also way... Oh, Jesus Christ, you're huge. I mean, I'm not upset about that at all. I just need to account for things better. Like that. Is that better for you? Not enough contact. What do you mean not enough contact with the wall? You're bloody, you're touching the bloody thing. How, none of these, none of these points work at all? How do I get you to work then? I don't really know how, oh shit, how this is actually going to work out. I've built myself like a clock tower on the top of my little hut over here. Can you, oh for goodness sake, can you just like not fall down the shaft for two seconds, please? Oh, but now is not the time. The blood of your demon pal is still fresh in the water. You'll come over to say good aim. Not your wisest move. I'm now strong enough to kill you without having to reload my combo. I still can't put you down, though. I... Mm, what if I go like this, then? No, not like that. If I go... Ooh, you can kind of go on an angle. That's kind of fun. I don't really want that to happen like that, though. Put you there, and then put one on the other side. This is so much work just to hang a bit of tapestry. Like that. Like that. <gasps> like that's gonna work. Yeah! It's all set up. Fuck, damn it. But yes, purple banner, finally. That was a lot of work. And I hate the stupid, like, devil horns that's got up there. Um, oh, where'd my, where did my friend go? Are you already done crafting? I set the thrall taming speed to 0 0.5. Uh, people told me that the three times speed I had on was the wrong thing. So I set it to 0 0.5. Are you already done? How do I know if you're done or not? You're not in the wheel. Does that mean that you're my friend now? And I can just put you in my pocket while you're a cook and boy do I have a good place for you to get sizzling for me. Here you go. That one. Troll. <gasps> I have a friend! Can I rename you? Can I name you please? No? I'm gonna call you Shazza. Shazza the she might cook. I'd like to put some armor or something on here, but I don't think that's really an option for me. How are you, Shaz? Look, it's just been a good day. A good, successful day. We've got our purple... Ooh. 
All right, that was pretty cool up there. Got our purple banner, got Shazza the chef, and everything's just kicking snags. Speaking of snags, though, actually, let me quickly give you a bit of a harvest. That's so good. That's so good. I'll chuck it in to give Shazza something to do. There you go. There you go. Just get you going. Look at that. Oh. That didn't take very long at all, did it? But with that, guys, with that raging success that today has been, I'm going to have to leave this episode here, I think. I'm having so much fun. I'm having so much fun in code and exploring everything and learning the game. Oh, I did actually get some dice as well. What was the thing that, uh, what, that let me do the die stuff? That wasn't a sentence, but we're going to pretend it was. Die. Die is bench. Come after the construction hammer, because I would like to make myself some purple goodness. Casting, no, cooking religion companions, alchemy, dyer's bench. I need tarm and bricks. That might be the next thing. If I don't know how to make those, I might just quickly just punch that out. Make myself a dyer's bench and start crafting some things, some purple. I'm having so much fun. I'm having so much body fun. But I have to come back and continue to have fun with old man Shazza over there in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.